Buzzing with questions, unlocking the meaning. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring a very interesting phrase, buzz with questions. This expression is colorful, evocative, and quite common in both spoken and written English. Let's unravel its meaning together and learn how to use it effectively in your conversations and writing. First, let's break down the phrase, buzz with questions. To truly understand it, we need to look at each word. The word, buzz, originally refers to the sound that bees make when they fly around. It's a busy, energetic, and constant noise. When we apply this to a room full of people, or even a person's mind, it paints a picture of activity and liveliness. The second part, with questions, tells us what the buzz is about. Questions are being asked, perhaps many of them, and there's a sense of curiosity or the need for clarification and understanding. Putting it all together, buzz with questions, metaphorically describes a situation where there's a lot of questioning going on, indicating curiosity, confusion, or the need for information. It's as if the air or the mind is filled with the figurative noise of questions, just like a hive full of buzzing bees. To get a better grasp, let's look at some examples. In a classroom setting, after the professor introduced the new concept, the classroom began to buzz with questions. This suggests that the students were eager to learn more and had many questions about the topic. In personal experience, when I announced my plans to travel around the world, my family buzzed with questions about how I would do it. Here, the family's curiosity and concern are expressed through their numerous questions. In professional contexts, the announcement of the new company policy had the office buzzing with questions about how it would affect their work. Employees are portrayed as concerned and curious about the implications of the new policy. Now that you understand what buzz with questions means and have seen some examples, it's time to think about how you can use this phrase in your own English. Here are a few tips. To express curiosity, use it when you want to describe a high level of curiosity or interest in a topic. To depict activity, it's perfect for scenes or situations where there's a lot of active inquiry or discussion going on. To add color to your language, this phrase adds a vivid, dynamic quality to your speech or writing, making it more engaging for your audience. And that wraps up our exploration of buzz with questions. This phrase is a wonderful example of how English can use vivid imagery to convey complex ideas and emotions. We hope this video has answered your questions about the phrase and that you're now buzzing with excitement to use it in your conversations and writing. Remember, learning English is an adventure, and every new phrase you learn adds to your linguistic toolkit. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to buzz with questions of your own about the English language. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.